What is up, Diabetes Daily Hustle? Welcome to, where am I going? Friday's vlog. What's up, y'all? We got a big, big weekend. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm really excited. I actually woke up at 7.50 a.m. and I slept at 1.15 a.m. How are you proud of me or what? I woke up this morning, BG was 1.38. I was assuming it's gonna be slightly higher because yesterday we had. Will this make us enlightened? Maybe. Yes, enlightened ice creams, it was so good. And I felt like my timing sucked though. I didn't really enjoy it because I just like took about three units of Nova Log. Two is really gonna correct me and one-ish is for a workout. Now I'm gonna start working out in the mornings a couple times next week too, but just to get the momentum of the day right. So that's been always challenging working out in the morning. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but I took some in the shoulder. I might even have to take another unit to be honest. Like I have to take lots of insulin if I'm gonna work out in the morning. Made my first Instagram post on a laptop. Obviously by the title of this video, I think it has something to do with LA. I don't I don't know if I broke the secret, but nah, it's not a secret. I'm going to Santa Monica. I want to do finish a lot of things before I head to Matt's house today, and one of them is to call Dexcom and tell them what's going on with my sensor thing. I mean, I changed my transmitter, it's not letting me warm up, so I'm gonna call them. Probably have something like a couple of tricks up their sleeve. They're gonna help me with. I mean, it's on my thigh. No readings, no nothing. Possibly get haircut, fix this thingy. Obviously, work out. I'm actually scared to go to LA in a good way, kind of, because I don't know how meals are gonna work, how much money I have to spend. All that stuff and what am I gonna pack and I'm literally like not even going that far. <laughs> it's like a two-hour drive, but I'll see you later. Bye. Well, I gotta guess I bring you along to the gym. I called Dexcom, they gotta call me back. Alright, one of the representatives called me back when someone's available to talk. Since I'm going to my friend's Matt house today in Santa Monica, I don't mind figuring out Dexcom there when I'm at his house. So I just had my kind of like pre-workout treat shake drink it's not shake but it's just coffee almond milk non-dairy creamer um so i'm gonna drink that hopefully my 134 bg is going down so i can start working out i'm not working out morning plus a high blood sugar not happening it's gonna be a bad 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 combination Chew, shit chew i feel low 73 since i know my bolus is really working right now i'm probably gonna have half a tablet Cause like I said, I'm really like not more res I am a little more resistant in the morning and then adding weight training is like oh. Alright, time to get our blood sugar up. Glucose tab right after the haircut. I was 70 after my workout as you guys saw. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go off feel, feel low. What you guys think about the haircut? Not bad, not bad. 11.47, I uh, still haven't showered, but I'm just nervous about packing on this around. And what I'm thinking about doing is, obviously I'm bringing my Traceba, put a little ice pack in here. It's, it's really hot out. Um, I'm gonna just pre-fill all my syringes, a bunch of Novolin. I mean, Novolin is just for eating, it's not correcting, so, and I don't really eat that much, I just eat like twice a day, maybe three times a day, max. And uh, Novolog is a thing that I'll bring extra, like I won't take my vial in the fridge, I'll take a whole pen out, a new flex pen, and bring a bunch of syringes. The, the drive shouldn't be that bad. And I didn't know Santa Monica would be a three hour drive. Man, I am beat, tired. I had like stash shields and almond, I'm trying to stay awake and sitting down too long. But we are here, thankfully, alhamdulillah, thanks God. So uh, my last BG was 147, it did spike. I don't think I was low after that haircut. It's, you know, I'm feeling kind of lost without Dexcom, to be honest. That should be coming. It's, my car is still on, and I'm not going to pay for the parking meter because I should be parking somewhere else. But uh, yeah, I should check my BG soon. I haven't really had a meal actual actual meal uh... no no wait there's this that's for just changing the flight oh. the total fare difference is 91 dollars that i have to pay. This. yes 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 the playable pool yes <laughs> <laughs> He's yes! Un un <laughs> unboxing with Matt. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> oh man. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to learn how to get people more comfortable when, like, when I press record and then just acting like it's not even there. Because that's, like, my favorite kind of content. It's like, oh, thank you. It's acting like the, con the camera's not even there. So... Yeah, that's an interesting... <laughs> that's cool. I'm not really a hat guy, but I'm going to start wearing rocking hats. <laughs> All right. It's much insulin because it was easier to exercise to compensate for the food I was eating. I was still in the honeymoon stages, so like I would exercise, and because I was taking you know only so many units of insulin, like by the time I got to college, it was like, oh wait, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a fun first off. I just want to tell you how delicious glucose taps are. <laughs> With a straight face, Matt? 73 <laughs> milliliter, milligrams per deciliter is what my current blood sugar is, and my dog's yeah. able to smell a chemical change in my body that I can't feel. Yeah. I'll just re-release the scent into the wild, if you will, so that he picks it up again, but what he'll do is tell me that he can smell it, and I give him a treat every time he does that. <sighs> So he's like nudges yeah, you. Yeah, good boy, Forrest. Good alert, buddy. Good boy, Forrest. Woo! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Good boy. And nothing but clear skies. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, people that know they can't touch or talk forest. No touch, no talk, no fun. No touch, no talk, no fun. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So what are we about to do, Matt? Uh, we are going to take some photos. We're going to make some videos. We're going to make some music. We're going to talk about diabetes. Ooh. We are definitely going to eat Mexican food. Yeah. Tacos. Yeah. And, stuff. <laughs> um, and then, yeah. Yeah, and, and the yeah. <laughs> oh, I should go the other way, actually. You wanna go this way? Yeah, I'm recording and then re-record it when you flip. So I'm gonna take five units of R. Flip the air bubble. The thing came out. Oh, no, I saw it. You saw, I, oh, I was like blind to it. Okay, and then we inject in the fatty. Good. Now we're gonna take some Novolog. I don't really know what I'm eating, but I always take a conservative dose, and then I can dose later. I'm probably gonna go with four units. Yeah, four units. So before you do that, have you made a decision on what you're gonna eat? No. Crazy, right? So you're gonna. I'm not saying it's dangerous. No, I know. But you're gonna go ahead and load up on carbs based on the amount of insulin. Not carbs. I'm loading up on protein and fat and some veggies. If they give me carbs, I'll probably give them to you or just put them to the side. So then what would you be taking the insulin for? So the protein and fat. I know people look at it crazy, but that's how that's how I manage. Only because most people wouldn't do that. I know. Most people see protein and fat, they go, free food, I'm eating it. It doesn't work that way. Everything rises your blood sugar. Eating pebbles rises your blood sugar. Looking at someone rises your blood sugar. <laughs> See, I'm, you so <laughs> I'm gonna. I don't really know what I'm gonna eat. To be honest, I hope I can get something that's loaded in protein and fat. But I'm gonna go with. Which you definitely can. But if you make that decision now, before you inject with that much insulin, knowing what you're gonna eat, you may not take your insulin right away. Because if it's a complex, if it's complex carb, if it's complex proteins and fats and it's not gonna break down right away, then who says you have to take insulin if you're gonna walk four blocks back to my apartment? Well, then again, the guac is gonna come right now. I'm rising right now from that glucose tablet. I only had one tablet too. I'm usually like that. One tablet is all I need. I know this is like 
cringy to a lot of it's diabetics. On the, it's on the. It's on the. It sounds like you're on the calculated, like each and every blood sugar from blood sugar to blood sugar. I'm addressing this while it's recording. Oh yeah, I know, I know. But every blood sugar, if you go from sugar to sugar, your in between will always be addressing and preparing for the next one. Instead of letting your body kind of do what it would naturally do and fight some of that fat and protein by like going for a walk. Thank yeah, you thanks, so much. dude. Thank you so much. Sorry. So I think I'm gonna. Matt is my witness, and people are watching the vlog. I was 64 about like 10 minutes ago. I had a glucose tablet. I'm probably like. 80 range right now since that one tablet is going to rise me about 20 points. Each carb is 4 or 5 points for most people. Uh, just carbs, not protein, fat. But, oh, he's drifting. <laughs> Sorry, what? We're going to go with... I'm going to eat something larger because I've only had one meal literally today. I worked out in the morning, I had a shake and some almonds and pistachios and that was it. So, beyond type 1, shout out. Actually, we're gonna go four and a half. Four and a half. Mark my words, you're gonna be drinking apple juice in my apartment in two hours. Four, okay, four. I just feel like it's not in, enough in Or less, or less. How many glucose tabs do you go through? Just a lot. Oh, me, not a lot. No. You go through a lot. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. I had one like with you. Okay, four, right there. Boom. Now we eat some guac. I'm at 80 right now. I'm pretty confident I'm at 80. I'm late for that, so I gotta... Can you show me that again? Uh, yeah, so... We go to Bolus, and uh, I'm gonna put in one, uh, that, 117. Yes, I'm gonna eat now. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Eating. <laughs> Yeah. And um, so, like I said before, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. Uh, Hi, how are you? Burger hey. no of lettuce. So this is my friend over Thank here. Thank you so much. No red onion. We did. Sell. Oh yeah, can we get us? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this was up. The. Uh, what you got, sir? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, what's your thought process right now? My thought process is. We're, I've got tacos and rice in front of me. And I'm gonna eat it all. <clears throat> That's my first thought, is I'm gonna commit to eating all of this food, and which means I should bolus for at least a little bit of it, or most of it, if, even if we're gonna go for a walk. <laughs> That's what happens when you get your butt sniffed at dinner. <laughs> I wanna get my butt sniffed. <laughs> So, <laughs> all right, so um, my blood's 117, and I'm going to put 117 in here. Yes. All thank right. you, thank thank you so very much. much. Sorry about trouble. Appreciate thank that. You. Thank you. Some food, some salad, burger, cheese. I don't usually eat dairy, but these extraordinary measures. So I'm going to take 50, I'm going to pull this for 50 grams of carbohydrates based off of these, this, and the chips that I ate. So I likely will only have a couple more chips, but like I would not include those in what I'm bolusing for because we're gonna walk back to my apartment and I have to walk the dog. After we get back, I'll likely walk him around the block so we can go to the bathroom. Good man. Where so, do you, I never asked, where do you wear your pump? Oh, right yeah, here. show us some steam. <laughs> steam All right, steam so here. 50, confirm, extend, and I'm going to extend this. Extend bowls. So you have a chance to cancel it, right? If, if I needed to, but also because the rice is carbohydrate loaded and it's a complex carbohydrate, um, that bolus, that 2.65 units, um, I'm going to get in an hour and a half. So with gastroparesis. Oh, you have uh, gastroparesis? Yeah, so it takes wow. my body longer to break down. Wow, uh, that's intense. Yeah, so I, so I kind of 
need to parse break out where I put my boluses. So that's why when I'm talking to you about your body breaking things down and, and how long you wait. There you go. Uh, there there you so much Thank you, Mark. Mark. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Like, where, like, where do you see that type of um, in your future, your history? Like, right? what you've done and what you're going to be doing, right. it's always going to be changing. So, right, right, right. let's enjoy it, my friend. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are back at the apartment. Um, I did go low. There was too much insulin. I went low a lot. Like I, got, I got an extra protein bar, a cheese stick, and had some tortilla chips. There's just too much insulin. I'm eating little food and craziness. But um, I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog. Had some sugar free iced tea. It's about 9 30. Yup, we're good. <laughs> Took a basil and stuff. See how, oh, this is so cool. I'm vlogging and like the lighting is like perfect now. Now I get a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, hold on, Matt, come here. I just wanna, like maybe I'll, that'll be a potential thumbnail for today. Just stand there and I'll have you in. All right, y'all, it's about 2 a.m. Uh, BG right now is about 1.30. Took some R correction in my arm. Took R because I had a protein bar and cheese stick about two hours ago. And, and I've been dropping at night, so I don't, I'm just trying to be conservative. But today was a great day. Got a lot of content done. Uh, I just edited the vlog, barely edited it. I'm only uploading it tomorrow because I want to sleep. But thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. Hit the like button, comment down below. As always, see you tomorrow. Stay tuned.